time, Black Man. Welcome to Main Street Studios, dog. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It feel good to be in this bitch, son. Shout out Main Street Studios, nigga. Shout out Trill. Ah, uh, yeah, man. We in this bitch now. Yeah, man. Been supposed to leave. Been was supposed yeah, to leave. Yeah, man. yeah. Ain't lying, dog. Yeah, lying. You ain't lying, ain't dog. Lying, dog. You ain't lying, dog. But look, man. Let's start it off like this, dog. Can you tell the people who don't know? You know what I'm saying? Who you are and what you got coming to the table? You know what I'm saying? Shit. How long you been? Running it, doing this music thing. I've been doing this shit like five years. And some people might know me, some people might not. I go by Code Black. Um, I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana. Macomb, the neighborhood named Macomb, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too big, nothing too small. You feel me? Uh, I'm trying to make it out this bitch. We got, we got a lot of movies. Well, I got a movie on the way. Mm -hmm. I got a movie on the way. Retarded for real, Lake City. Um, I got a couple singles that I'm dropping. I'm dropping back to back. They're gonna have mm -hmm. to keep up. I'm dropping back to back. Shout out PJ on the track. He keep me laced up. Um, I ain't gonna lie. I probably couldn't do it without him. So shout out PJ on the track. Um, shout out PJ. What's up PJ? Man? Yeah. You know what's up with me, man. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. We locked in for sure. We locked in for sure. I gotta get with you too, Tro. Yeah. Don't think I'm sleeping on you. <laughs> I gotta get with you too. You heard my It's know. all good, man. When the time coming, you already know, man. We yeah, locked yeah. in, bro. But I've been watching though, uh, I've been watching so y'all man y'all Main Street got some shit going for sure. I'm fucking with it. From the videos to the building to the Y'all yeah. got your shit going. I, I see that shit. Appreciate that, my brother. Real Appreciate talk. that. Cold black. Okay, so how you come up with cold black, my brother? Like it come from like a long, like it's a, it, 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 I had it a long time. Like I'm talking about when I was probably in the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. Um, like I was blacker than a motherfucker. <laughs> and my like my name coded with a K, mm -hmm. so it was like people used to call me Co, and some people call me Black. So you know what I'm saying? Like so, just so happened, nigga, we got I got into the sports, yeah. and I just and nigga, I said Co Black. I said man, I'm Co Black, man. I'm not. You heard me? I'm mm -hmm. not black. I'm not cold. <laughs> I'm cold black. You heard yeah. me? So, and I just ran with that. I ran with it. And I used it in the music. I used it. Really, was just a street name at first. Mm -hmm. It was not a rap name. It was none of that. I didn't used to rap. I used to like basketball, sports, and shit. Like you know what I'm saying? I love music. I used to rap in a locker room and shit, but. It Man. got to the next level when I was. I remember when you first came out with a. Uh... What it was? Really something serious. Really something yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. You hit me. You hit me soon yeah. as I dropped that bitch. You hit me. Yeah, because I you ain't know you, Yeah, I didn't you was coming like that. Yeah, you, said, you rap. I said, yeah. yeah. It, but that was just me trying. Mm -hmm. Just trying. So, and with that being said, like, the it, the motivation came from the streets. Like, mm -hmm. niggas was like, man, that shit really was good. Nigga, people was really jamming it. I didn't think the song was that good personally. Mm -hmm. But people was like, man, that's man, you tripping, man. You ran that, you ran that. So I kind of like, I, I I fuck with that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It kept me going, you know? Man, kept me can, going. Can you tell a little bit of how it is growing up or how it was growing up in Macomb? You know, how it is out there? It's, it, in case it, the people who don't know. It's know. like this, it's like this. It's like your image could get tarnished quick if you, if you, you do flaw shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I done seen people with more shit going than me. More, like, more, you know what I'm saying? More money than me, more everything than me, but they tarnish their shit by doing flaw shit. Like, you rat, you can't come back. And that's the first thing a nigga love to do in the hood. Niggas go to jail in the hood, nigga. Oh, you rat. That's the first thing, yeah. you heard me, it, it, it is, any hood. I don't care where you're from, that's the first thing they look for. You dig what I'm saying? But when you silent, you stay 10 toes down and don't stick, you know what I'm saying? So. Really and truly coming up, you just gotta be a stand up nigga. You know what I mean? Like you gotta be stand up in the hood. Like you can't let nobody play on you, you can't be played with. You don't need to be playing out there. You feel what I'm saying? So it's really like tough. You gotta be mentally stable. And me coming up, I only had a single parent home. Mm -hmm. So I look for love in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no big dog uncles. I ain't had no big dog. I, another nigga uncle was my dog. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Another nigga brother was my dog. You feel me? I never had the love in my whole mm -hmm. own circumference, so I had to build relationships with a lot of motherfuckers in the streets, and that's what made me who I am, really, like the stand-up guy I am, because I could have been a bitch-ass nigga. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like, But that it, it's all about how you raised, how you came up. I had it harder than a lot of niggas. So. 
No. Hey, man, that's the north side, bro. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. don't know about that north, dog. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Cause it's sweet. It's it's so it could be sweet. Like you know what I'm saying. Outside looking in, it's sweet. Oh, it ain't that real. It ain't that real. But you ain't never had to come up here either. You yeah. ain't never woke up. Here. You ain't never seen the niggas run through your yard to run <laughs> from the laws. Now the laws running through your yard. You trying to smoke a blood in the yard. You got the laws running through your yard looking for nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's the hood though. You know what I mean? They they used to like to jump the colors. And I stayed right by the cooler, so niggas jumping out their truck, running in the cooler, running from the, yeah. you feel me? Like, yeah. they always would. So people from other hoods would come to our hood to hit the cooler to get away. You know what I mean? So I, I ran our hood, they called some of them nigga the cooler bar. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's the street shit. I think I gave y'all too much. <laughs> <laughs> man, dog, I mean, I know, man, my cousin Joe Poe just passed away. Oh, brother. man. You know what I'm saying? I hate we to bring gonna, it up, but I'm at the I'm at the we I had the uh, speaking on that, bro. It I just feel like this as an artist, as me being me, my heart bigger than that. So mm -hmm. it hurt me because the shit that I wanna like I wanna take care of all my people families, bro. They got kids. Mm -hmm. Like Joe Paul had kids, C Real had kids, Draven had kids. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this, it's like to say like I feel for them. I feel for the families. I feel for the, you know what I'm saying? I, I was at the funeral. I was the pallbearer. I didn't cry. It didn't hit me hard until the letter from his mama. You know what I'm saying? That that hurt me because I the, the state of mind she in, I, I felt it. You feel me? Yeah. So that, that fucked me up. So I, that's who I feel for. I feel for them. I feel for my boy too because, you know what I mean? Dude was nice. I, I didn't even know my dog was doing like, like I'm doing me, so I kind of got to focus on me, but I didn't even know my dog was taking over like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of hurt to see that go like that, knowing that we could have supposed to do something, man. man and yeah. I'm not even going to lie, my brother. I had a, no. a sit down with him like two weeks before that, that situation happened. And I really was about to put him back in the spotlight, get Please, him popping. Bro, that you heard man. me? Like with the beats, everything, everything original, everything was going on all platforms. I, you know what I'm saying? I was going to just show them a different way than just doing your Definitely. music like how we was doing it Definitely. back in the day. You Definitely. know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's a difference now though. Mm -hmm. They got more resources now than it's just being, all right, we record this at the spot and drop it on YouTube. Now you can do it on seven streaming sites. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You can get seven different incomes and money from this shit. Like we didn't have that coming up. So these kids, under us got an advantage. Yeah. Not to say we don't got the what it take or whatever. They just got a big advantage. We didn't have this in school. We couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Hand to hand. Hell shit, nah. Man. We had to hand CDs. Yeah. We were burning CDs for real. Give like people flash drive. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So it like not like that's why I salute the young cats that's doing it. But they gotta pay homage to those that's yeah. in the game too. Just eat on B8. Put it like that. Coming up in the hood. But, and well, let's talk about more of the music scene in, in your area in Lafayette period. How you feel about the music scene? Like, man, really and truly, like I said, I I, I spoke with Nola Zine TV, mm -hmm. and I like um, it was what I want to say three three years ago, three years ago that I, I did that interview. Um, and like I told him, the music scene lit. We Lafayette as a whole, we lit. We can blow any artist up. We choose to do everybody but our own. And that's where mm -hmm. it don't sit right with me. Mm -hmm. It don't sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? Because they got, not include myself, they got several consistent artists around here that got talent, they got the songs, they got the tracks that, that could blow. Mm -hmm. But they'd rather do it with anybody else. I mean, you got people coming from out of town, crowd surfing around our shit. It's a difference. Yeah, you man. feel me? It's a difference. Like, come on, dog. Like we can't get that kind of love out here. You know what I mean? Though. But if we take like like me, I'm traveling mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. I'm traveling. I'm pushing my music everywhere. I just came from Memphis, rocking with DJ Memphis. Shout out DJ Memphis. Um, I went to oh and uh famous Animal TV. I went to them in Memphis and went. You know what I'm saying? Spread some music, do some shit, drop some songs. I did the same thing in Atlanta. Um, at uh. At Street Execs, mm -hmm. shout out Street Execs. I went in Atlanta and they showed me love. So that's why I say we can't get that same love out here. You know what I mean? And that's what that's where the music scene kind of falls short for local artists in the area. Mm -hmm. But anybody else come from BFE, but fuck Egypt, they gonna <laughs> get love around this bitch. They will, yeah. they will. But that's just the scene around here. That's just around here. 
I ain't gonna lie though, man. They got like so many dope artists out here. Oh, Lafayette, man. Uh, you know oh, what I'm saying? The 337, period. Not yeah. just Lafayette. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they come from everywhere. They come from everywhere. They come. That's why I see. Like, Generate got a few nice little artists too, son. Some you know gold. Some, some people with some yeah. gold though. They got some gold. And that's what and I, hunger. I, I love to see that. Because me, myself, when I came in, I was hungry. Mm -hmm. But I was dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I knew some of the game, but I didn't care. Like, so I like I tell people like man you gotta care about if it's your craft is something you wanna do you gotta care about it you gotta love it like a baby you know what I'm saying because you nourishing a baby and when it grow older you gonna you might yeah. hit you might not it might be a star you might not but you gotta treat it like that so get the tell young artists out there coming up get your business together yeah man. get your business together get your LLCs get your name done because they'll take it from you real talk facts they take it from you dog. You see, you got some, you got your videos playing in the bag, my brother. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out OG Suave, man. That, 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 that one of the second big features I did. Shout out OG Suave, bro. But uh, yeah, Trev, man, we gotta definitely get some shit in, bro. Definitely get man. some shit in. Now I know they got a few people who like, you know, people to spit a little something. I don't know if you got a little hot sixteen or something. You don't oh, mind man. just running it right quick, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh man. <laughs> All right, all right, I'll give y'all this something. All right, look, check it out. Let me see. Light from the bottom. Most likely I stand out. Tall nigga, dark skin, supplying the whole south. We gon' ship it. Got my people with me, prancing in the kitchen, fucking bitches on a really basis. These bitches be tripping. Back to business. I got all my niggas moving to the binges. Tell them niggas, get a nine to five, because hustling don't fit them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Like Just that. give them a little taste. That's something it. like that. Yeah, I, I, I get a little something. You know what I'm saying? I do want. I, you know, I could do a list out, y'all. You pull me out the hammer hey, down. Hey, I bad, ain't see man. that one coming. That's for the music. I, yeah, music yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like, though. It's, it's all like. good, man. Look, man, I appreciate you coming to Main Street Studios, dog. Yeah, you know, yeah. Definitely going to do more things. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? I'll be back. I'll be back, bro, because Main Street, y'all showing love for sure. So uh, I'll definitely be back and rocking with y'all in the building, bro. Appreciate it, my brother. Yeah, appreciate it. Fuck you, with me, dog. Definitely, definitely. <laughs>